yeah, I never really expected to stay in Germany because um, I always kept on thinking, oh well, I don't like the weather and the weather in Spain is so much nicer. I refused to buy myself a, a winter jacket or winter shoes um, saying, well, you know, I'm going to move soon so <laughs> I won't actually need it. Um, and yeah, now six, six coming up to seven years later, <laughs> last winter I finally bought myself uh, nice warm winter shoes and a winter jacket and decided that the winters here weren't so bad um, and that everything else kind of made up for it. Shall I give you a summary of well, maybe... what I said in German? Mm. Or, and the connection to... Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe you just tell a little your story and then how that um, makes you do what you do now and, yeah. Yeah, um, so my story is that uh, I'm a documentary photographer um, and I live in Berlin. And I come from a somewhat complicated migrant background um, because my, I was born in Mexico. Um, I was adopted by English parents when I was uh, very young and I, my father was a journalist and my mother was an English teacher and we moved to Madrid when I was three years old. Um, so I grew up as a, an English Mexican um, in Madrid which was I guess my first place as a migrant um, growing up in a foreign country. And then I moved to England to study. And that was a different migrant experience because despite having British parents, I had then grown up as a migrant in a different country um, and uh, felt Spanish um, when I was in England. Um, and then, then eventually I, I came to Germany and became a photographer. And what I photographed mainly are people uh, and their stories. Um, and that comes from, I guess, from the, the whole search for an identity um, that I've always had because I've never really known where I was from. Um, so I guess I got so confused about where I belonged that I kind of eventually gave up on it and um, decided that I would much rather kind of find out where other people were from. And, about their stories. I spent quite a lot of time following asylum seekers in the middle of Berlin, um, which they occupied and built their own wooden um, huts. And they lived there for quite a while without running water and without electricity was very interested in, in the stories of people there and that's where I got to meet Maiga who's a wonderful guy from Mali and uh, I started documenting his, his daily life and which was quite hard for me to see the difference between me as a migrant with a passport and a permission to work and him as a as an asylum seeker without having yet having those rights. I spend my time documenting, you know, the stories of of people I meet, um, most of whom um, have some sort of uh, migrant background, which is, I guess, what what attracts me most. Um, so, for example, this guy was from Serbia, uh, living in. Istanbul, um, working as a welder, and actually spoke German because he'd uh, lived in Germany for many years. Um, so that was uh, wonderful. Um, and so, I mean, as, as a migrant myself, um, I find it's extremely interesting to find out about how other people feel um, being in a different country. And, and what it means to belong somewhere. Um, 
And one of one of my favourite experiences was actually when I came to Germany and um, as a photographer I photographed a a, a right wing demonstration um, and I was a little bit scared about that until two weeks before the demonstration um, at which point uh, I started seeing posters for anti demonstrations around the whole of Berlin. Um, and on the day of the demonstration, there was it was meant to be um, three thousand um, right wing extremists, of which three hundred then tried to attend. Essentially, surrounded by seven thousand police and ten thousand anti Nazi um, protesters. The fact that everyone came out to kind of demonstrate for a multicultural society in Berlin was, I guess, one of the most touching experiences and. and one of the reasons that I feel at home um, here in Berlin. Yeah, a photo flash across the road um, will will sell you a picture or a photo shoot for, for 20 euros for 50 pictures. Um, which is slightly different. Um, so this is kind of a different price class. Um, but then again, we kind of take time to um, take pictures uh, slightly more professionally and uh, get to know people, um, which I guess is the most important thing if you're going to take pictures. Um, I'm photographing wine. For a, um, a winery in, in the south of Germany. So I guess if you look through there, you can see that the bottle is kind of looking relatively nice. Um, I still haven't quite finished uh, adjusting all of the settings and getting it quite right. Um, and so that's what I do. I mean, this is the studio. Well, I mainly do here are portraits, um, so you can see the backgrounds there behind. Um, and it's quite a small studio, um, as far as studios go, but it works for me. Um, and uh, I enjoy it quite a lot. Um, at the moment, it's a little bit difficult because I spent, I've spent most of the summer indoors, in a dark, uh, darkened room instead of out in the sunshine. Um, but uh, at the same time then for, for documentary work then I do go to go to nice places.